But you are not audible. Your voice is not clear. We can uh, hear you, sir. We can hear you. Yeah, maybe yes, problem. Yes, yes, I'm audible, sir. Yes, yes, fine. So, can I go ahead? Sir. Okay, sir. Fine. I'll start. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Good morning to all. Uh, welcome to the second day first session of this uh, two-day international uh, seminar. So I'm pleased to introduce uh, Dr. Venugopal D. Herosa. So basically, Sari is a chartered engineer from Kalaburgi, but I can also say that he's a renowned scholar of mathematics being uh, for his contributions. And he's a serious and passionate researcher in the field of Bharatiya Ganita. He has brought out 25 books related to Bharatiya Ganita. They are definite contribution in the study of the history of Bharatiya mathematics. Dr. Hirur has made a number of publications in Kannada to make Indian mathematics popular in Kannada language. He has provided himself quality, competent in his write-up in English. His works are excellent in quality, wideness, as well as depth. He is quite good in compiling the material and presenting the results. Being an engineer, all his lines are measured, mostly correct and furnished with evidence from sources. Efforts of Dr. Venugopal D. Hero in making an effective presentation of the theme in his works without injuring the original are marvelous and highly appreciable. So by continuing the work carried out by the earlier stalwarts in the field, he is doing human service to the mathematics community. He has conducted classes for teachers and research scholars, presented papers at various universities, national and international seminars. With this brief introduction, I would like to welcome uh, Dr. Venugopal Hirursar for this uh, conference. And I would like to thank uh, Dr. Venugopal Hirursar for accepting our invitation to deliver a talk uh, on this occasion. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Now, I'd like to call upon Venugopal, sir, to take a hand over the session. Stop this sharing for time being. Yes. Sabhi Shrotra Vargako Namaska Karte Hue Ash Srinivas Ramanujan K Janmadin Pako Samsmaran Karte Hue Age Badege. Topic of today's lecture is rigorous analysis of. Brahma Gupta geometry in Bhaskaracharya's Leelavati. There are two persons, Bhaskara and Brahma Gupta. Brahma Gupta belonged to 7th century and Bhaskara belonged to 12th century. Main contribution of Brahma Gupta in geometry is cyclic quadrilaterals. After 500 years after Brahma Gupta, Bhaskara commented upon the sutras narrated by Brahma Gupta. We shall now see the analysis made by Bhaskara about Brahma Gupta's geometry. <clears throat> Mathematical tradition of including a mathematical chapter in astronomical works was started by Aryabhata. Aryabhata has started a tradition of including astronomical, in astronomical treatises, separate and full chapters exclusively devoted to mathematics. The mathematical genus of the ancient Indians was mainly computational and led to spectacular achievements in arithmetic and algebra. 
but the basis and inspiration for the whole of Indian mathematics is geometry. So Brahmaguptas, we shall directly start this subject. Brahmaguptas results. Brahmagupta contributed such elegant results to geometry and the number theory that today's mathematicians still marvel at their originality. Unfortunately, Brahmagupta's results were misunderstood by his immediate successors. Bhaskara II, the influential mathematician of 12th century following Aryabhata II of 10th century, considered Brahmagupta's results for the area of a tribuja, three chaturbhuja, that is a triangle and a quadrilateral, as inexact and his results, results on circumradius, that is Hridaya Raju, the radius of circumcircle were even omitted. As a result, the nature of his triquadrilateral, that is three chaturbhuja, triangle and quadrilateral, was ignored. Though this was regrettable in itself, it led to a consideration of the general quadrilateral and also prompted the idea of third diagonal in a cyclic quadrilateral. The geometry of three diagonals of a cyclic quadrilateral is discussed in greater detail by Narayana Pandita of 14th century. The mathematicians of the Kerala Aryabhata school understood the scope and applicability of Brahmagupta's results very clearly. <clears throat> now we shall see what is area preserving property. According to the Vedic tradition, area of the three basic ultras, that, that is Vedic, uh, alt, Vedic ultras, hmm. they are of uh, three types, Ahvaniya of a uh, shape of square, Garhapatya circle and Dakshina semicircle must be the same and each equal to one square Vama. One Vama is equal to 96 angulas. The angula which they defined is approximately equal to 2 centimeters. This aspect motivated Hindus to find methods for performing transformation on figures by which the area and or perimeter of the figure is preserved. <coughs> area preserving property. In a cyclic quadrilateral, that is convex quadrilateral, since a cyclic quadrilateral may be viewed as a figure formed <clears throat> by given four chords of a circle, the area enclosed by a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the area of circumscribing circle minus the area of the four segments of the circle corresponding to the four sides. Hence, the area of a cyclic quadrilateral remains the same, although it may have different shapes depending on the relative positions of the sides. That is, interchange of sides without changing the area is possible in a cyclic quadrilateral. See, here there are four sides of the quadrilateral are A is equal to 60 centimeter, B is equal to 52, C is equal to 25, and D is equal to 39. This is one figure. The diameter of this circle, circumscribing circle, is 65 centimeters. And these are the, the sides of the quadrilateral are the four cards. This is one figure. The, with the same dimension of the sides, this is other figure. Third figure. Which one? Hmm. 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 There are 
three figures can be found by the for, given four uh, measures of the sides of a quadrilateral in a cyclic quadrilateral with having the area constant. Next presentation. Mm -hmm. So interchange of sides without changing the area is possible in a cyclic quadrilateral. So these are the six figures. If we ignore the order that is clockwise or anti-clockwise, there will be only three figures. Now, the study of quadrilateral cyclic and non-cyclic. Two sections of Indian mathematician have approached the study of the quadrilateral from two different angles. One section viewed it merely as a figure enclosed by four parts of a circle, whereas the other viewed it as a figure enclosed by four lines, that is line segments, the general quadrilateral, but strangely enough, excluding the cyclic quadrilateral. The former includes Brahmagupta, that is uh, offers cyclic uh, category Brahmagupta, Sridhara, Mahavira, Sripati, and Kerala Aryabhata school. The latter, there are only two, Aryabhata and Bhaskar. Aryabhata belong to the 10th century and Bhaskar to the 12th century. Narayan Pandita has leaning towards both. Now we shall see Brahmagupta's results. The most important geometrical contributions of Brahmagupta are related to cyclic quadrilaterals. First one, area theorem. He was the first in the world to give the exact formula for the area of such figures in terms of sides. He says very concisely, sthula phalam, tri chatur bhuja, Bahu prati bahu yoga dalaghataha. Bhuja yoga ardha chatushtaya. Bhujona ghatat padam sukshmam. Sthula phalam. The product of half the sum of the two pairs of the opposite sides of a three chaturbhuja gives the grass area. Sthula phalam that is grass area. Three Chaturbhuja, that is Tribhuja and Chaturbhuja. Bhuja, Bahu, Pratibhava, opposite sides. Yoga, that is sum. Dala, that is divided by two. Ghataha, product. Therefore, the first half of the verse can be translated as the product of half the sum of the two pairs of opposite sides of a three Chaturbhuja gives the gross area. We are least concerned about. Uh, uh, gross area, we are concerned about sukshma area, that is accurate area. Bhuja yoga ardha chatushtaya, bhuja, that is side, yoga sum, ardha half, chatushtaya at four places. Bhuja yoga ardha chatushtaya, bhujona ghatat, bhuja una, subtract each side from the half the sum of the four sides and Take their product, ghata product, further that is square root. Sukshma accurate. That means set down half the sum of the sides in four places and diminish them by the four sides respectively. The square root of the product of the four remainders is the accurate area. That means if A, B, C, D are the sides of a cyclic quadrilateral, then the gross area equal to A plus C by 2 into B plus B by 2. The accurate area will be S minus A into S minus B into S minus C into S minus D, where S is the semi-sum of the sides. A plus B plus D by 2 is equal to S. This is the exact area of, the, of a cyclic quadrilateral narrated by Brahmagupta. If we assume one side D as zero, then it becomes S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. That is when in a quadrilateral, 
if side is assumed as zero, then the figure turns into a trilateral or a triangle. So about this formula, C.B. Boyer, the great historian of mathematics, C.B. Boyer considers this formula, that is two, S minus A, S minus B, S minus A and S minus B, to be perhaps most beautiful result. But equally beautiful are Brahmagupta's expression for diagonals. Now, first of all, I will explain with figure, then narrate the verse. Consider the triangle quadrilateral A, B, C, D. Now, A is a vertex, C is a vertex. The line joining AC is the diagonal. At point A, A and D will meet. Similarly, at point C, B and C will meet. At vertex B, A and B will meet and C and D will meet. What we have to do to find the measure of X? First, multiply, uh, take the product of A and D. No, we are considering AC. Therefore, the points A and C are the vertices which, joins, uh, which are joined by the diagonal AC. A, D and B, C. AD plus BC divided by AB, AB plus CD. So there are four products AD, BC, AB, CD. Sum of two divided by sum of two. AD plus BC by AB plus CD. Then multiply by sum of the product of the opposite sides. AC plus BD, then take its root. That will be the diagonal AC. Similarly, instead of AD by BC, AD plus BC by AB plus CD, if you take the numerator as denominator and denominator as the numerator, then it will be AB plus CD by AD plus BC into AC plus BD under root will be the other diagonal by BD. So this form, these two formulas have been stated by Brahmagupta as follows. Karna Ashrita, Karna Ashrita, Karna Ashrita Bhuja Dhatai Kyam Ubhayato Anyonya Bhajitam. That is Anyonya. When we take AD plus BC, it should be divided by AB plus CD. When AB plus CD is taken, it should be divided by AD plus BC. <coughs> Bhajitam gunayet yogena bhuja prati bhuja. Bhuja means side, prati bhuja opposite side. Bhuja prati bhuja vadha product karna pade, that is square root, vishame. Divide mutually the sums of the products of the sides attached to both the diagonals and then multiply the quotients by the sum of the products of the opposite sides. The square roots of the results are the diagonals in an unequal, asymmetric Vishama quadrilateral. In a cyclic quadrilateral, A, B, C, D, if A, B, C, D, that means if A, B is equal to A, B, C is equal to B, C, D is equal to D, C and D, A is equal to A, or the lengths of these sides A, B, C, D, then according to Brahmagupta's theorem, A, C, that is X is equal to this formula 4 and 5. Thus, enabling the diagonals to be calculated in terms of these sides. The second among the two formulas given, by, given above was rediscovered in Europe only a thousand years later by W. Snell, that is about you know, 16 and 19, he has rediscovered. We have seen two theorems, area theorem and a diagonal theorem. Area theorem says, Bhuja Yoga Ardha Chatrushtaya Bhuja Nagata Padam Suksham, that is A is equal to under root S minus A, S minus B, and S minus C into S minus D. And the second theorem, diagonal theorem, just to assume this is the second. He has uh, also narrated 
ये थर्ड वन ब्रह्मगुप्त एंड क्वार्टर लेटर्स ए नोट वर्दी कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ ब्रह्मगुप्त टू प्योर मैथमेटिक्स इज हिज मेथड्स ऑफ फॉर्मिंग व्हाट आर कॉल्ड द ब्रह्मगुप्त ब्रह्मगुप्त एंड क्वार्टर लेटर्स दीज आर साइक्लिक क्वार्टर लेटर्स इन विच द साइड्स डायगनल्स एंड एरिया आर ऑल रैशनल आर इंटेग्रल and the diagonals intersect orthogonally that is perpendicular to each other uh, <clears throat> uh, first i will explain the theorem and then come to the verse now take two right angle rational right angle triangles having sides e f g p q r jatya means right angle rational right angle triangles what we have to do multiply p and q the sides of one triangle by the diagonal of the other likewise we have to multiply e and f by r we get to four products that is when e and f e f g are multiplied by r then we get p e pf and pg similarly if we multiply by g we get uh, hmm so multiplying uh, pe pf pg ep eq er qe qf qg and pf r f p f q and f r now these four triangles are joined in such a way that e into r f into r are the two sides and g p and g q are another two sides those four sides of the quadrilateral we get the four sides of the quadrilateral e r f r p g and g q if we place the shortest side and the longest side opposite to each other then the diagonals of that quadrilateral will intersect orthogonally now we shall see what is the verse narrating this thing jatya dvaya jatya means right angle triangle dvaya that is two triangles koti bhuja koti is altitude bhuja is the base parakarna gunaha para another one karna diagonal or hypotenuse when we multiply the two sides right right angle sides of a right angle triangle by the diagonal of the other right angle triangle karna guna bhuja chatur vishame we get the four sides of a vishame that is we should interpret vishama here as the cyclic quadrilateral adhiko bhu which is the largest is the base who mukha he now which is the shortest is the face another two are bahu dutayam bhuja anyo the koti uprights and bhuja bases of two jatyas rational right triangles multiplied by each other's hypotenuse are the four sides in a vishama that is unequal quadrilateral in which the diagonals intersect orthogonally the longest is the base the least is the face and the remaining two sides the flank side now these are the three you know, theorems narrated by brahmagupta now we shall see bhaskara tried to condemn these three by using some tools we shall see what tools he has used <clears throat> leela he has a khandana mandana uh, in leelavati that is the popular rate of leelavati the first volume of siddhanta shiromani first part of siddhanta shiromani is shown by the fact that it is still used as a textbook in the sanskrit medium institutions throughout india it belongs to the class of verse called patiganita 
in pathaganita we study arithmetic algebra covering arithmetic algebra geometry and mensuration it is about the lilati what yes observations made by uh, and the remarks passed by bhaskara on brahmagupta's expression for the area and the measure of diagonals of a cyclic quadrilateral show that he failed to realize the true significance of them however it resulted uh, in the study of general quadrilateral and prompted the idea of third diagonal in a cyclic quadrilateral there will be only two diagonals in a quadrilateral what is about third angle we shall see later bhaskara the two tools which bhaskara has used first i will explain then go to. now consider the triangle abc cd is perpendicular to ab then the how to find out the projection of bc on ab and projection of ac on ab let the projection of bc on ab be bd that is x and similarly of ac is y that is bd is equal to x and ad is equal to y how to find out x and y using the three sides dimension of the three sides now first step a plus b the side opposite to a that is bc is equal to a and ac is equal to b and ba or ab is equal to c what you have to do a plus b into a minus b by c this is first step next add this result and subtract this result from c that is base divided by 2 one will be x another will be y then obviously that is perpendicular p is equal to b square minus y square and a square minus x square <coughs> b square minus y square b square that is this is b ac is b b square minus y square a square minus x square will be equal to cd square <clears throat> this is one formula which he has used next we shall see another formula formula for the second diagonal that means in a quadrilateral there are two diagonals if one dimension of the one diagonal is given or if we assume how to find the second diagonal bhaskara following arabata 2 gives an expression for finding the second diagonal when the first is known or given as usual i will explain first from the figure then go to the verse now consider the figure a b c d as a, a quadrilateral in which we know bd measure of bd what we have to do draw the perpendiculars from c to bd and similarly from a to bd let ce be the perpendicular drawn from c on bd and af be the perpendicular drawn on bd from a now eg is equal to fg let cg be parallel to bd if cg is parallel to bd then fg is equal to ce then afg is a straight line ag is equal to af plus fg but ce is equal to fg therefore ag is equal to af plus ce now in the triangle agc ac is the hypotenuse ag is the base and gc is the altitude therefore ag square plus cg square is equal to ac ac square now draw af ce perpendicular to bd produce af and draw cg perpendicular to it join ac then ac square is equal to ag square ag square this is g ag square plus gc or cg square is equal to ac square this uh, ag is equal to af plus c whole square bf minus b whole square we get ac now we are going to the verse ishto ishto atra karnaha prathamam prakalpya sveshretu karnao bhayatah sthite 
उभयतः ऑन आइदर साइड स्थिते एक तयो क्षमा दट इज बेस इतर बाहो प्रकल्प लंबा आवाधे च साध्य आवाद द सेगमेंट्स ऑफ द बेस शुड बी डिटरमाइंड साध्य इन ए क्वार्टर लैटरल अस्यूम द वैल्यू ऑफ वन डायगनल देन इन द टू ट्रायंगल्स लाइंग ऑन आइदर साइड्स ऑफ दिस डायगनल इट विल बी द बेस एंड द अदर्स दैट इज द गिवन साइड्स ऑफ द क्वार्टर लैटरल साइड्स नेक्स्ट व्हाट वी हैव टू डू नाउ फाइंड द परपेंडिकुलर्स एंड द सेगमेंट्स इन दीस ट्रायंगल्स then the square of the difference of the two segments lying on the same side that means here af is the perpendicular bf is the segment of the base B, uh, bd when we consider the perpendicular from a likewise be is another line segment in the projection of bc on bd now what is ef it is the difference between bf and be <clears throat> here he says that one now find the perpendiculars and segments in the triangles then the square of the difference of the two segments lying on the same side that is taken from the same corner being added to the square of the sum of the perpendiculars the square root of the resulting sum will be the second diagonal in all quadrilateral these two theorems he has used as tools to uh, prove that brahmagupta is wrong and he amends that theorem of brahmagupta in this way sarva dor yuti dalam chatusthitam baho bhir virahitam cha तद्वदात मूलम अस्फुटपलम चतुर्भुजे स्पष्टमेव उदितम त्रिबाहु के सर्वदोर युति दलम दैट मींस युति दैट इज सम दला हा सर्व सम ऑफ ऑल द फोर साइड्स हाफ द सम ऑफ ऑल द फोर साइड्स कीप देम एट फोर प्लेसेस एंड deduct or subtract each side severally half the sum of all the sides is set down in four places and the sides are severally subtracted the remainders being multiplied together the square root of the product is the area in exact this we have to see he has said brahmagupta has said sukshmam exact area brahm bhaskara says in exact in the quadrilateral but pronounced exact in the triangle therefore for proving this fact he takes two both the triangles and quadrilateral first he considers two trapezium whose face is 9 and base is 12 and the perpendicular is 12 base is 14 Face is nine, perpendicular is twelve. Its area is equal to nine plus fourteen by two into twelve. That is one thirty-eight. Similarly, the, the area of the other trapezium, whose face is eleven, base is twenty-two, and altitude is twelve only. Its area is equal to eleven plus twenty-two by two into twelve. Nine one ninety-eight. If we take If we calculate the area according to Brahmagupta formula, then the sum of the four sides, half the sum of four sides, is twenty-four. Twenty-four minus nine, twenty-four minus twelve, twenty-four minus fourteen, twenty-four minus thirteen. It will work out to one forty-one. Likewise, of the second quadrilateral, thirty-three minus eleven, thirty-three minus thirteen, thirty-three minus twenty-two, and thirty-three minus twenty, it works out to two fifty. Exact areas are one thirty-eight and one ninety-eight, whereas the Uh, brahmagupta's formula gives the values 141 and 250 therefore bhaskara has proved that brahmagupta's theorems are wrong then <clears throat> he also says in case of trilateral or triangle it is correct take the, this triangle 13 14 15 and these are the segments 
area is equal to half the base 14 into altitude 12 that is 84. Now sum of uh, 13 plus 14 plus 15 that is 2s is equal to 42 therefore s is equal to 21. 21 that is s into s minus a s minus b s minus c it is also 84. Therefore the formula holds good in case of triangle but not in case of quadrilateral. Bhaskara second that is Bhaskaracharya has taken much pains to so show that the diagonals of a quadrilateral four four sides are given are not determinate that if only the four sides of a quadrilateral given then we cannot uniquely construct a quadrilateral considering a quadrilateral formed by the given four sides of the these are the four sides of the quadrilateral given by Brahmagupta, 25, 39, 60, and 52, having lengths and in which taking value of one diagonal is 32. We have seen this formula, how to determine the second diagonal. If you assume 32 as one diagonal and calculate the other diagonal using the theorem already stated, so A, B, 60, BC 52, CD 25, and DA 39. If we assume AC one as the measure equal to 32, then calculate BD by that formula. We arrive at AC is equal to 32, BD is equal to 76. For the given four sides, for the given four sides, 60, 52, 25, and 39, the two Diagonals arrived are 32 and 76 integer 22 by 25. Then he takes the same measure in a in a trapezium and arrives it uh, uh, the diagonals also measure of those diagonals and those measures of those diagonals that is if BD is equal to 71 integer 1 by 20, AC will be equal to 46. 13 by 20. So he has calculated two sets of diagonals hmm, for the given four sides. Thus, obtaining two sets of diagonals are for the same four sides, he remarks. Chaturbhuja sya niyatau hi karnau katham tatos min niyatam kalam sya prasad hitau tat chraunau yadadhyaha swakalpitau ta vitaratra nastaha. Teshveva Bahush Aparaucha Karnavane Kadha Kshetrapulam Tatascha. The diagonals of a quadrilateral whose four sides are given are uncertain. How can then uh, the area be determined? The diagonals are calculated by previous teachers will be true only in case of quadrilaterals of particular kind contemplated by them. Jo Unone Liahe Brahma Gupta Vaisat. Quadrilateral ko hi satisfy hota hai, other quadrilateral ko satisfy nahi hota. Contemplated by them, but not in case of others. For with the same four sides, there can be various other pairs of diagonals, and consequently, the area also is manifold. When there is variation in the measure of diagonals, then automatically the area will not be constant. Chaturbhuja, then he comments. In a quadrilateral, when two opposite corners are so drawn as to bring the sides contiguous to them inwards, the diagonals joining them is shortened, while the other two corners bulge outwards, and consequently, their diagonal is lengthened. So it has been stated just before that, with the same side, there can be other pairs of diagonals. And then he comments. Lambayo ho karnayor ekay man anir desha aparam katham pruchatya niyata tvepi niyatam chapi tatthalam. Without specifying one of the altitudes or diagonals, how can anyone ask to find the other of them and also the area as these are truly indeterminate? Sa pruchakaha. Shishachova, Vaktava, Nitaram, Tataha, Yo na Veti Chaturbahu Kshetrasya Nitam Sitim. The questioner who does not know 
the indeterminate nature of quadrilateral must be a blunderer. Still more is he who answers such a problem. So he has commented like this one. Then while investigating the uh, measure of the two diagonals, what is the range in which you have to uh, assume the dimension of it? He says, the, he gives another rule. That no, first I will explain. <clears throat> now, take the uh, quadrilateral given by Brahmagupta himself. When AC is shortened, what is the limit? That means 60 plus 30, 39 is equal to 99. 50 plus, 52 plus 25 is equal to 77. So when we shorten AC, the limit is that BD, AB and D, that is ABD will be, BAD will be in a straight line and it coincides with the diagonal BD. So the longest dimension of BD will be A plus D, that is 77. In that case, C, the perpendicular drawn from C on, on the line BAD will be the di least dimension of the uh, diagonal AC. So in case what happens 52 plus 25, here, here we have taken 25 plus 39 as a straight lines, 39 plus 25. The, this is the diagonal that is AC can be the uh, upper limit of AC is 39 plus 25. It is 64. It cannot be more than 64. Hmm. He shows AC is in between 30 and 64. Likewise, BD is in between 45 and 3 by 5 and 77. Now. Uh, in these quadrilaterals, the sum of the squares of the largest Now we shall take up the third uh, formula given by Brahmagupta. Now, when we multiply EFG, EFG by P, P we get EP, EP, then PF and PG. That is the dimensions of EFG multiplied by P. Similarly, of PQR multiplied by E. The, we, when we adjust the four triangles as shown in figure, we will get the quadrilateral. Here we can observe that AC is equal to FP into EQ. That is the sum of the products of the altitude and the base. Some altitude of the one with base of the other. Altitude of one with the base of the other. So that is the sum of AC. And the other diagonal BD is equal to E into P, F into Q. So we can get very easily when the diagonals are orthogonal, we can calculate the measure of the diagonals from the three sides of the two given rational right angles. He says that here. <coughs> Major of diagonal. The product of bhujas combined with the product of the cotis will be one diagonal, and the other will be the sum of the reciprocal products of the bhujas and koti. When this easy method is available, <coughs> I do not know why the earlier mathematician, that is Brahmagupta, should have adopted a more difficult method, that is root of. AD plus BC by AB plus CDO, your formula in 
इतना इजी रहने के बाद वो हार्ड फार्मूला उन्हें क्यों दिए है दैट इज इफ एफ जी एंड पी क्यू आर द साइड इंटेग्रल रैशनल ऑफ टू जातिया राइट ट्राइंगल जी एंड आर बींग हाइपोटनेस फ्रॉम विच द ब्रह्मगुप्त then the diagonals will be ep plus fq and fp plus eq this is indeed the easier method for finding the mutually perpendicular diagonals of the brahmagupta and quadrilateral but it is only in positions where the longest and shortest sides face each other at the diagonals will be mutually perpendicular so this holds good only in case when the shortest and the longest are kept opposite to each other for other positions bhaskara has supplement in his notes he says if they are not kept opposite to each other then what happens if a flank if a flank and the face are interchanged the product of the hypotenuse of the two jatas is the second diagonal then in that case if the face and if adjacent if one of the adjacent if a pair of the adjacent sides are interchanged their position then the other diagonal will be g into r he says that one atha yadi parsha bhuja mukhayor vyatyam krutva nyastam क्षेत्रम तदा जात्य द्वितीय इन क्वाड्रिलैटरल देयर विल बी ओनली टू डायगोनल्स इफ वी इंटरचेंज द पोजीशंस ऑफ द एडजेसेंट साइड्स देन वन डायगोनल विल चेंज एंड दैट चेंज डायगोनल इज कॉल्ड एज द थर्ड डायगोनल इफ फ्लैंक एंड द फेस आर इंटरचेंज द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द हाइपोटेनस ऑफ द टू जातियास इज द सेकंड डायगोनल thus baskaras method is easier in the case of quadrilaterals formed by non jatyas but brahmagupta's rule enables us to calculate the diagonals of any cyclic quadrilateral this baskara second did not realize nor did he realize the cyclic character of brahmagupta's quadrilateral however the idea of third diagonal in a quadrilateral is prompted here the geometry of third diagonal is uh, given by narayan pandita in greater detail now we shall see the specific property of cyclic quadrilateral when we interchange interchange of sides without changing the area is possible in a cyclic quadrilateral only the number of such possible variations in the shape of the cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the number of arrangements of the four chords in a circle if we do not differentiate between the shapes of a rectilinear cyclic figure and its mirror image then the number of such possible area preserving variations is equal to the number of permutations in which the chords can be arranged in a circular way irrespective of the order in which they are taken clockwise or anti clockwise to form the desired figure obviously this number that is number of permutations circular permutations where n is the number of elements it is equal to half of n minus 1 factorial in case of quadrilateral n is equal to 4 therefore there will be only three diagonals when the three diagonals out of three diagonal taken two at a time that is 3 c2 it will be 3 hence the hence for the given four sides cyclic quadrilateral is of a 3 rupee 3 rupee are a tri form so and the was <clears throat> 56 63 63 and 65 56 and 65 these 56 63 and 65 are the three diagonals for the four sides 60 52 25 and 39 <clears throat> this is in the anti clockwise direction this is a, these are the in the clockwise direction so summing up the lecture <clears throat> but before summing up the mathematicians of later aryabhata school that is kerala 
Aripatiya school knew all the properties of the cyclic quadrilaterals. Parameshwara says in quadrilaterals, the diagonals of which are calculated with the help of this formula are obtained by applying the Sarvayo, that is this one, area from this formula and quadrilateral diagonals from the Brahmagupta's Karna Pramaya, then the areas of quadrilateral constructed with other diagonals will be less than if you take any other diagonals than the stated by Brahmagupta, the area for, of that quadrilateral will be lesser than the cyclic quadrilateral. So for the given four sides, there will be three diagonals of a fixed dimension. That's why they are called as Niyata Karanas, as found in Kriya Karmakari, that is of Shankar warrior. <coughs> Three and only three diagonals are possible for four side lengths of a cyclic quadrilateral. And it is called the three di determinate diagonals near the karna of a cyclic quadrilateral can be calculated by Brahma Gupta's diagonal theorem, that is Karna Pramaya. Because of this, Jeshta Deva called the cyclic quadrilateral as Niyata Shirti. Jeshta Deva, another mathematician belonging to Kerala Arabic school, amended the uh, verse given by Bhaskaracharya as follows. Jeshta Deva's amendation of Bhaskara's rule. Jeshta Deva has amended the text of second half of the verse given by Bhaskara second for the area of a quadrilateral so as to confirm it to the Brahma Gupta's rule and convey its correct meaning. It is as follows. Bhaskaracharya has said Sarvadevar iti dalam chatasthitam bahur bir virahitam chatadvadhat moolam asputhapalam chaturbhuje spashtameva uditam tribahuke. He has amended this later half of the verse as moolam matra niyata shrutao. In those quadrilateral in which the diagonals are fixed one are constant. Phalam Tresra bah, tresra means triangle. Bahujam api sputam bhavati. Half the sum of all the sides is set down in four places and the sides are severally subtracted. The remainders being multiplied together, the square root of the product will be the exact area in quadrilaterals with determinate diagonals near the shriti and so in the case of trilaterals also. So, when we gone through these 50 pages, we have listed the properties, special features of a cyclic quadrilateral. A quadrilateral is that was figure through a quadrilateral through the four vertices of which a circle can be drawn is a cyclic quadrilateral. What is the special property? Maximum area, a cyclic quadrilateral encloses the largest area for the given four sides and it is given by Brahma Gupta's area theorem. Bhuja yoga ardha chakrashtaya bhujavana ghata padam sukshmam. Brahma Gupta's area theorem. That is if ABCD then A is equal to S minus A. Then size and shape. A cyclic quadrilateral can be defined uniquely merely by specifying the four sides and the order in which they are taken. Area and per perimeter preserving property. Interchange of sites without changing the area is possible only in the cyclic quadrilateral. Third diagonal. Interchange of two adjacent sites of the cyclic quadrilateral alters the shape of the quadrilateral and the length of one of the diagonals, thereby getting a third diagonal called para. The three determinate diagonals near the karnas, three and only three diagonals are possible for four side lengths of a cyclic quadrilateral, the three determinate diagonals near the karnas of a cyclic quadrilateral can be calculated by Brahmagupta, Brahmagupta's diagonal theorem, that is Karna Pramaya. In a square and a trapezium with three sides equal, these three diagonals are equal. In the isosceles trapezium and the rectangle, two diagonals are equal. Brahmagupta's expression for diagonals in in a cyclic quadrilateral, that is again AC is equal to X is equal to Ptolemy's theorem. 
in a cyclic quadrilateral the sum of the products of the opposite sides is equal to the product of the diagonals in a cyclic quadrilateral the opposite angles are supplementary so this is the only property taught in the curriculum of nowadays whereas there are nine properties among the nine properties only one property is taught at the high school level properties of brahmaguptan quadrilateral brahmaguptan quadrilateral are the cyclic quadrilateral in which the sides diagonal and area are all rational or integral and the diagonals intersect orthogonally in the brahmaguptan quadrilateral the sum of the squares of the largest and the least sides will be equal to the sum of the squares of the remaining sides then the diagonals are, are perpendicular to each other if not brahmagupta's method of getting a rational cyclic quadrilateral is to multiply the sides of two rational triangles by each other hypotenuse and use these sides as the sides of the quadrilateral that is if e square plus f square is equal to g g square and p square plus q square is equal to r square then any quadrilateral whose sides are e r f r p g q g taken in any order will be cyclic and its diagonal cut at right angles if the greatest and least sides are placed opposite to each other circum radius of such quadrilateral is half the square root of the sum of the squares of the longest and shortest sides one method of forming brahmagupta's rational cyclic quadrilateral is to juxtapose two rational triangles having the same hypotenuse with their hypotenuse coinciding then the hypotenuse will be the diagonal of the quadrilateral as also a diameter of the ascribed circle epilog for continuation of the tradition and to pass on the knowledge acquired to coming generations without interruption it is essential to interrupt interpret the available material in terms of the contemporary terminology of the concerned science in authentic and reader friendly manner this is a small effort in that direction thank you all <clears throat>
dear participants uh, today morning session is get over you can sign off afternoon session it will start by